Hi, this is Tim Jones from Accelerate Computer Training in sunny Long Beach, California with another tip to help accelerate your learning and productivity. Photoshop users have to make a lot of selections and an easy mistake to make is to fail to use the available modifier keys. Shift, Option or Alt, the Space Bar, and the Caps Lock key can save you time and improve the quality of your selections. Now this video is definitely for newer Photoshop users, but hopefully experienced users will pick up something new or be reminded of something you learned long ago. To begin, when using the lasso tool, press the caps lock key to turn the pointer shape into a crosshair, making it a bit easier to use accurately. Caps lock has the same effect on many other tools. Also when using the lasso tool, if you press and hold the Option or Alt key, then when you click and move, it creates straight sides like the polygonal lasso tool. Hold the Option or Alt key the whole time, and when you need to draw free form, simply click and drag. To close the selection, let go of the Option or Alt key. When using the rectangular or elliptical marquee tools, you can press shift to constrain your selection to equal width and height. And then, while you are still dragging, you can press and hold the space bar and move the selection. When you release the space bar, do not release the mouse also. That's the beauty of this technique you're still creating the selection. If it is easier to create the selection from the center out rather than from corner to opposite corner, just press and hold the Option or Alt key. You can combine it with the Shift key to make it a perfect circle, and even hold the space bar temporarily to move the selection before concluding it. And finally, do not confuse the use of the Shift and Option or Alt keys here with their other uses, allowing you to add or subtract from an existing selection. If there's already a selection and you want to add to it, for example, press the Shift key before you click and drag the mouse to create the additional selection. Now, once you've started dragging, you may release the Shift key without losing the effect. And then, you may press and hold the Shift key again to constrain the width and height, or, for that matter, the Option or Alt key to create from the center out. The same is true when subtracting from a selection. What matters is whether the key, Shift or Option Alt, is down when you click and drag. Thanks for watching. For information about our live instructor-led classes in Photoshop and other software, visit our website, www.accelerateComputer.com.